Hello, my name is Dr. Roberts. I'm one of the obstetric anaesthetists here at the RVI. In this short video, we plan to talk you through what to expect from your journey through theatres here on Delivery Suite for the birth of your baby by caesarean section. There are situations when the safest option for you or for your baby is to have a planned caesarean section and some women will choose this mode of delivery over vaginal birth after discussion with their obstetric team. In this elective situation, you will discuss your operation with the obstetric team in advance and sign your consent form. Then, the week before your caesarean section, you will attend a pre-admission clinic. In this clinic visit, you're able to ask any questions you might have and the staff are able to make final preparations, including arranging blood tests and swabs. You will be given information on what to do the night before your operation and when you come in for surgery. On the day of surgery, you should present yourself to maternity reception at the time you've been given and you should bring your maternity notes with you. Together with your birthing partner, you will be taken to our enhanced recovery room, which is on delivery suite. Here, you will be met by a midwife who will perform some final checks on you and your baby and you will be seen by the obstetrician who will be performing the surgery and the anaesthetist who will provide the anaesthesia and look after you during the procedure. The anaesthetist will take a brief medical history and explain the process involved to ensure you are comfortable and pain-free for the procedure. The majority of women opt for a spinal anaesthetic, enabling you to be awake for the birth of your baby and your partner to be present. In certain circumstances, you may be advised to have a general anaesthetic or an alternative type of nerve block called an epidural for your surgery. After all preparations are made and it is your turn, you will be brought with your birthing partner to one of our operating theatres here on Delivery Suite. There will be lots of people around in theatre, but this is normal and they are all there to ensure the safety of you and your baby. You will be asked to sit on the bed and an anaesthetist will place a drip into your hand or arm in order to give you fluids and medication. You will be connected to several monitors which are all routine and nothing to be worried about. The anaesthetist will then put on a sterile gown and gloves and prepare to put the injection in your back that will make you feel numb from the chest downwards. It is very important that you are sitting in the correct position for the spinal to be put in. This involves sitting with your feet over the edge of the bed with your chin on your chest and your shoulders slumped down, arching your back out towards the anaesthetist. They will clean your back with antiseptic solution and will feel your back with their hands to find the right place for your injection. They will then put local anaesthetic into your skin. Once the local anaesthetic is working, the spinal injection shouldn't be painful and you may be aware of some pushing in your back. The numbness from the injection will start to work quite quickly and the anaesthetist will get you to lie down and they will tilt the bed to the left. You won't be able to move your legs and you will feel numb from the chest down. It's normal for your blood pressure to drop slightly with a spinal anaesthetic, so we will give you medication to counteract this. But it is important that if you feel sick or dizzy at any time, you let your anaesthetist know, as this can be easily managed. Spinal injections are felt to be the safest type of anaesthetic for most pregnant women, but there are potential risks to be aware of. Common risks include feeling itchy during and after the operation and having low blood pressure, which can make you feel faint temporarily. There is a one in 200 chance of getting a bad headache two or three days after the procedure. One in 1,000 women will experience a temporary nerve injury causing weakness or numbness in one of their legs, which lasts less than six months. One in 13,000 women will experience this weakness or numbness lasting more than six months. Less than one in 250,000 women will experience a severe nerve injury causing problems with both of their legs. Your anaesthetist will perform a very thorough check to make sure the spinal is working. A catheter will be placed into your bladder so that you don't need to go to the toilet either during or after the procedure. This will be removed either later that day or the next morning. The obstetric team will paint your abdomen with a sterile solution and sterile drapes will be placed over the top. These will also prevent you from being able to see the surgery. It's important to remember that while you will not feel anything sharp during the operation, you are, will be awake and you will feel pushing and pulling and movement. This is a normal experience and means everything is progressing as it should. From this point, it won't be long until you get to see your baby. 
When your baby is born, a midwife will check them over. This is routine and nothing to worry about. Many mothers wish to have skin to skin with their baby immediately after birth, while surgery is being finished. We can help you with this. Some women prefer to wait until the recovery, and this is entirely up to you. Once the surgery is complete, you will be accompanied by your birthing partner in the recovery area until your spinal block has started to wear off. Here, a member of the anaesthetic team will keep a close eye on your blood pressure and ensure you are otherwise well. There will be a midwife present in recovery to look after you and your baby. They can help you with skin to skin and feeding your baby. Once you are ready to leave recovery, you will be moved to either the enhanced recovery area or the postnatal ward. We would encourage you to get up as soon as the feeling in your legs is back to normal and there'll be somebody around to help you with that. Your catheter will be removed once you're up and about. The majority of women leave hospital the day after their elective caesarean section. This may be longer in certain situations or following an emergency. We hope that this short video has shown you what to expect from a caesarean section here at the RVI. We wish you all the best for the rest of your pregnancy.